So let's kind of jump in here and let's take a look at some PowerPoint template timing tricks. All right, so here's kind of the scoop. How many of you have some of the awesome video templates from our friends at LaVideo, DeCinema, Magic Video, Super Good Product, InstaVid, right? These things are absolutely works of design art. And when I'm making a video with PowerPoint, if I can use a template, I am a happy guy, especially because the guys that put these together design beautifully. They're just absolutely stunning and lovely. But there's kind of a problem with them, and I'm going to put it to bed, like, right now, because I'm sick of dealing with it. Let's just take a look at one real quick. Okay, so here we have a, a slide. I'm actually going to kick it into slideshow mode. Right? Beautiful design. And it uses things, like, it's got this neat filters on it, and, oh, you know, to build this yourself wouldn't be a complete pain, but it would be a lot of work. So I like to use templates. Here's the problem. Let me go back into slideshow mode once more and watch this nice little graphic down here. And it goes away. It hangs on for a couple of seconds and jumps out of there. Okay, well, what if <laughs> in a normal world, this I use this kind of lower third essentially element and I want it to stay on screen longer in my video? Well, it's difficult to make it do that and I'm going to show you how to do it. Here's another quick example. I'll just kind of preview this. We'll watch the animation and here we go. Oh, I like it and, and it's ah, and it's gone. Okay, oh. all the animation goes away. So here's the problem is that the guys that create all of these have kind of this music video mentality, I'll call it. So all these templates, or the vast majority of them, are kind of designed to be set to music, right? Not like in the real world where I might want to use a template to create a sales presentation or, you know, anything like that. If I, if I want to narrate to it, having the timing that is so wildly out of control is just no good. <laughs> it's a pain. But it's because apparently none of them ever create real videos in the real world. They just create these little music videos. Okay, and I like me a music video. Okay, and not all templates suffer from this problem or in other words, I don't need to time you know, extend the time something stays on screen for all different kinds of videos. But uh, let me just show you the problem. So let's click on this slide and I'm going to go to the animations and open up the animation pane. So first I'm going to kind of show you what to look for and then I'm going to show you how to fix them. Right? So if we play this what happens here in the animation pane is these are all the animations that I didn't have to create and they're awesome, right? The ones in green are called entrance effects. The ones in yellow are emphasis, so they kind of do the cool Ken Burns effect on the image here and stuff like that. And then ones in red are called exit animations. And actually if I hover over this, or let's click on one, Okay, and you'll see that on the animations tab, uh, it is an exit. So this is going to wipe away. And let's see if that happens. So let me just preview this again. And up here we'll be able to watch all of the animations unfold. And wipe away, wipe away, wipe away, wipe away. I don't know why the, all these guys insist upon doing this. So the culprit here are all of these exit animations. And while, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool that they exit and stuff like that, it's not like the end of the world. All it does is guarantee that it's going to make it very difficult for me to make this not start right away. When is it going to start? Well, let's click on the first exit animation here. 
the one furthest to the left. Okay, and you can kind of see they're staggered, which is part of the coolness of the animation, right? So on the Animations tab, if you click on an animation, we're going to go up here and look at the delay. Here's the problem. These guys bake in a delay for each and every one of these things, and that's part of the problem. In other words, when this kicks in the slideshow mode, or when I export it as a video on this slide after 1.75 seconds, this thing is going to start to exit, right? So, one of the ways that I can fix this is <laughs> I can click on the exit animations and I'm going to hold my shift key, click on all the way down here, and I'm going to press delete. The problem is those exit animations. Now, let's go into slideshow mode. And it's basically going to stay as long as I want. And again, if this was a lower third, uh, I might want to be talking or something like that. So if you find that there are all kinds of exit animations going on, uh, that's probably one kind of quick and easy fix. Let's take a look at another one. I'll preview this. And it's out of there. So uh, another thing that you'll run into with a lot of these templates is, notice, well, it's kind of confusing in the sense that I have an exit animation here and one here and one down at the bottom, but there's an entrance animation here. So one thing you might want to do to kind of help yourself out is most of the time you'll be able to take this entrance animation and just move it up above all of the exits. So the secret sauce here is, and, and like I say, sometimes in some templates you'll have these like scattered all over. Again, I don't know why the developers don't take the time to kind of clean this up, you know, and put all the entrances and other effects. You know, if you're going to exit everything, put it all at the bottom. But anyway, they don't. Just be aware that most of the time you, you can move this up if you want, or we can select, hold the control key, select, select. You can kind of do it that way too, right? And delete. And now the way that I get this thing to move to the next slide is we get to go to the transitions tab and right over here with no exits going on, we have the opportunity to say, I want this slide to advance after, let's say, 10 seconds. Okay, And you can uncheck the on mouse click if you like, if you're not presenting live. And what that will do is it will make this slide stay for 10 seconds and then advance. Oh, I didn't have the use timings button checked here. So it will wait for 10 seconds and then advance. And that's the way it will be in our video when we export it, right? So that's kind of the scoop there. Now, the thing is that not all exits are evil. Okay, here's an example. See all these exit animations? The key you want to look for is, does an exit animation screw me up or not? The exit animations up here well, they messed me up because they these left before I wanted them to. But here, oh, I've got a whole bunch of exit animations, but let's play it and see what those animations do. Okay, so they make these little circles burst and then go away. In a case like this, these are not evil exit animations. So I could go to transitions and specify again on the advanced slide how long I want this slide to stay. Right, so that's all well and good. A lot of templates, if they don't have exit animations, are the easiest ones to modify. Right, so let's go ahead and preview this. 
lot of good stuff happening here. A lot of good design work, nice entrances and stuff like that. But notice, nothing went away. Sweet. So these are what I call the cherry slides or the cherry templates. And, you know, a lot of the templates from these guys don't have exit animations. So this is one way I would look and see, okay, I know this is going to be easy to modify the timing because I don't have to mess around with anything, right? Uh, so that's one thing to be aware of. Those make it easy. Uh, let me show you one, one more here. Let's take this guy and preview it to see what happens and see where we're messed up. Let's click it. And everything goes away. So uh, let's work this one. And I got it. I'll tell you right off the bat. This is kind of ugly, and it's why I wish they just wouldn't put all these exits in here in the first place. But if for some reason you absolutely positively want to have these exit animations do all that stuff, then here's kind of what you got to do. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do a cleanup. Let's take all of our, hold the shift key. Click on the first one, hold the shift key, get all of our entrances, and boost them up, boom, above the exits, right? So again, the problem here is that if we go to the Animations tab, all of these delays are baked in. So you might be thinking, well, can I just change this to on click? Uh, I like your thinking, but that's not going to work because all of the rest of these are again baked in. So I'm going to just give you the quick and dirty process to kind of make this work. And I'll warn you ahead of time, there will be some math involved. So let's see here, how shall we do this? What I might do first of all is let's right click and duplicate this slide uh, so we don't screw up our original in case we need to go back because things can go horribly wrong. Uh, so it, sometimes it's good to have a backup. All right, so let's walk through this and just bear with it because it's going to be a little bit painful. Uh, let's see, the first thing I'm going to look for is which of these exits happens first. In other words, which one is furthest to the left in this stack of stuff, right? So let's click on this guy. Let's go to the Animations tab, and we'll see that ah, two and a half seconds. Uh, if you can read, or your viewer can read all of this in two and a half seconds, then they're, they're better than I, is all I'm saying. So let's say that I want all of these, this stuff to last 10 seconds instead. So what we're going to have to do is kind of manually go through here. Let's click on the, the one that happens first. And all I really have to do is make sure that this number is 10 seconds, right? But here's where we get some math going on. What you want to do is remember this number, 2.5. And you'll see why in a second. All right, so I'm going to change this to 10 seconds. Enter. Okay, this other one here, oh, that's also 2.5. I'm going to change that to 10 seconds as well. Now we got all, now it's all kind of discombobulated, right? Because we have uh, some happening after 10 seconds. Eh, it's all just a mess. So let's go to the top. And here's kind of the key. <laughs> Remember that 2.5 seconds? Well, I'm going to grab a calculator. And while I'm exceptionally good at math, I highly recommend that you do this. Let's take 3.25, 3.25 minus 2.5 is 0.75 seconds. So this one needs to be what? Ten, I want it to start 10. The difference is 0.75, so let's make this 10. 0.75. I told you this was ugly. Let's click on the next one. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5. 
Uh, so 2.5, the difference between that and 3.5 is 1. I guess I don't need a calculator for this guy. So this is going to be, I add that 1 to this, 11 seconds. And let's do this one. 3.5, that's also 11. Are you feeling the pain yet? Are you feeling the burn? 3.75 minus 2.5 equals, add 10 to that, 11.25. And basically, we would just have to continue that process. I don't think I'm going to go over it. I probably should have picked a shorter example here. But that's basically how you do it. Uh, and if we play this, what we're going to see is that some of the stuff's going to exit quickly because I haven't modified it yet. But all this stuff is going to stick around. So let's see if that happens. So we'll play the animation. Well, here comes this stuff. It's out of there. But the stuff I changed, yeah, it's still, uh, now after 10 seconds, it goes away. So arguably, if you felt that was painful, that's kind of why. I think that's uh, probably gruesome enough for everyone, but that's pretty much the scoop on it. Personally, I love the ones that, again, no exits. Some of the newer ones that use the morph transition and stuff have these. So when I start to design my PowerPoint video templates, you can bet that, that this is the way they're going to be designed. Yeah, Julie says she loves Morph. Morph provides some kind of exit animations without animating. So, all right. So that's just how painful and ugly it is.